everyone, hope you're doing well. The video today is based on winter storage, the things that I do to store my bikes over winter. Um, obviously because we don't really ride a lot in the winter over here. Um, well, I don't personally, I know a lot of people do. Uh, but me, I'm a fair weather biker, so I like to put my bikes away uh, as soon as it gets to like sort of December time and then get them out sort of like March, April time if the weather's good. So these are things that I do to my GSXR and to my Aprilia. This is just my sort of routine as to what I do. The first thing I do is give the bike a good old wash, make sure I get all the grime off it. I mean, it doesn't get particularly dirty throughout the air anyway, but I just make sure it is really clean, as clean as I can get it. Once I've done that, it's down to the chain to get the chain nice and clean almost so it looks new and then it's a case of just applying all your chain lube to it and just really make sure the bike is in pretty much showroom condition for it to be sawed over winter now there are a few little things that i do that some of you may not do or some of you can't do for reasons i mean i'm lucky enough that i have a garage to store my bikes in which of course is perfect but some people i get that you haven't got that sort of like situation going on so you have to store them outside if that's the case then paddock sand's always a good idea if you can and you're in a garage because it keeps the wheels off the floor it stops you from getting any flat spots uh, it just basically is better it's more stable on the stand and obviously if you've got to do any maintenance over winter it's the best time to do it because you can't really go out riding it's easier with the bikes on the stands if you can't put your bike on the stand or you haven't got stands it's not the end of the world what I would personally do is put a little bit more air than usual in the tyres just to stop that flat spot from happening. And if you can, just go out once every so often, rotate the tyres, move the bike, just so it's not on the same part of the tyre throughout the whole of the winter, because that's not exactly brilliant for them. Right, moving on to other stuff that I do. Little things like the exhaust and that sort of thing. If you've got it even in a garage or if you've got it outside, I like to make sure stuff like the exhaust hole is plugged up. Uh, main reason is occasionally in garages and also outside you do get rodents coming in, especially over winter because it's cold and they want to find somewhere warm. You don't want them things getting into your, into your exhaust or getting into your air box. So if you can, just put something over the exhaust or some of the little entrances to the bike just to stop them nesting because you don't really want to start your bike up and find out you've got a mice nest in your air box. It does happen. Sounds strange. It does happen. But again, that's not... A common thing so don't panic if you don't do it the next thing uh, I I said I'm lucky because I have a garage is security if you're storing your bike outside please make sure that you have a decent lock on it because people know they're sitting for a long time and also it gives people a lot of opportunity to plan stuff so make sure you've got a good lock on there good disc lock good chain if it's outside as good as you can be if you're storing it inside, it's still no reason to just bypass the security side of things. Obviously, as well, insurance. Make sure you keep your insurance going because just because you have some people don't insure them over winter because they're not using them. Yeah, but I get that sort of train of thought, but at the same time, it's a lot of hassle to go through. And if these do get stolen from inside your garage, you're going to need that insurance policy. So it's worth just doing standard 12-month policy. Don't, don't cut it off or not insure it because... It's the worst case scenario, but you want to make sure you have that in place if you do need it. Right, other little jobs that I do to the bike. Um, and again, I know the next one is maybe a little bit controversial. Some people do it a different way, but I fill the tanks on the Aprilia and the GSXR. This just stops build up inside the tanks. Some people say it's condensation and rust. <laughs> They're not standing for long enough to, to actually that to happen, but I've just been brought up with always bring your tank when you store it over winter. It's what I do, it's what I was taught, it's something I'll continue to do. You haven't got to, you can either do it the way I do it or you can choose to empty your tank. Some people go down that route. But me, I always fill the tank just so I know it's totally full and there's no room for anything else. And also as well, when you get that first bit of sun coming out, you know you haven't got to go down to the petrol station, you've got a full tank of juice ready to go, ready to rock. So that's always a good thing. You can burn through that first tank of juice, which is always a nice feeling when the sun comes back out for summer and something that I know I personally look forward to. Covers. When it comes in terms to covers, one second. I use the Oxford covers, which is like a 
really sort of like smooth cover and soft. It's not an outdoor cover by any stretch of your imagination, but it's lovely on the Aprilia, it's lovely and soft on the paint, it's really stretchy, so it kind of molds the shape of the bike. So that's what I use. There are loads of other covers out there. Again, if you're storing it outside, use a heavy, heavy duty cover, so it's protective from all the elements and that it won't like if it starts raining and snowing you've got as much protection as humanly possible for your bike another thing um it's worth getting a can of some sort of lubricant and going around all the bolts on the bike because i said you have time and over the winter even though if you're storing outside especially but even inside just go around every moving part on the bike even with a can of wd-40 or something like that and just just give everything a spray just so it doesn't corrode up just so it's nice and free when you come to use it in summer. Just just really, really take the time out because you're not riding to really pamper the bikes. You will get the benefits from it when it comes to when you wheel them out in um, next year when the sun comes out. An Oxford trickle charger. Oh, it doesn't have to be an Oxford trickle charger. It can be any trickle charger, but honestly, if your bike is stored over winter, please get one of these. It will save your battery. It saves having to bump start it when you come to next year. It's really a decent purchase worth making. And they're only like £30. So definitely a worthwhile purchase. And on that note as well, if you have a newer bike, always check that it, what connection it takes. I didn't notice until I bought the Aprilia. It actually comes built in with an Oxford connector on there. So I can just buy the Oxford connector, bang, straight in there. When I bought the GSX-R, obviously it didn't. But a few new bikes do come with certain connectors already inbuilt to the battery, which is a great thing because triple chargers are a kind of necessity in my eyes. But just checks. So I know when I had the Triumph 765, when I had that for a test, that actually comes with a triple charger, but it's not the same one as the Oxford one. So just check what triple charger is compatible with your bike and buy the right charger for it because it's always a good thing to have. So that's definitely a top tip. And now we move on to the fun sort of stuff. What to do when you bring your bike out of storage. Now, obviously you've had time taking care of it. The most important thing is before you take it out, spend a bit of time for your first ride. Don't just go jumping on, levers on, and doing a ton down the bypass. Don't do that. Just take a bit of time, check your tire pressures, check them bolts, check everything is safe. Because even though it's been stored over winter and it hasn't moved, just for peace of mind, I like to go through the bike from back to front and just make sure that everything is as it should be and everything is good. And also when you're on your first ride, just have a listen, make sure everything sounds right, make sure there's no weird noises that weren't there when you first left. It's, it's a strange one, but sometimes stuff can happen even when the bikes are just stored away. So that first ride, just take it easy and ease into the season. You've got plenty of time. You don't have to go out like 100% on your first ride. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this video and follow them little bits of advice that I gave you about the cleaning, about the chain, about the covering up the little holes, about the whole looking after the bike and spraying the bolts, the triple chargers, the paddock stands and keeping the tires off the floor and your bike should be absolutely fine over winter. Uh, obviously the same applies if you have a track bike. Uh, the GSX-R is in exactly the same form as you can see the Aprilia behind you, all ready to go. So yeah, it's, it's one of the things, a bit of common sense goes a long way when it comes to storage. There are certain things I do that others don't do, so by no means take this as like gospel. This is purely my advice to you, and advice can be left or it can be taken. It's that part is up to you about what you wanna take away from this video. I hope all of you are staying safe out there. I hope everyone has a great Christmas. There should be a few more videos coming up. Obviously content is a little bit slow this time of year purely because of the weather and getting hold of bikes and getting hold of friends bikes and it's a bit of a struggle because the weather out there at the moment is really not very nice so anyway i'll wrap this one up and thank you very much for watching so to everyone out there take care and goodbye